All right, so the next question is, what is the average velocity to find the average velocity of the body or of the particle during the first five seconds? of its motion so meaning initially or t sub 1 that would be 0 second and t sub 2 that would be after 5 seconds so we want to find the average velocity a that's v rather so v average and that is delta s over delta t so that would be s sub 2 minus s sub 1 over t sub 2 minus t sub 1. So we have t sub 2 and t sub 1, but we don't know the position of the particle during these times. At time equals 0, where was the particle located? And at time t sub 2, 5 seconds, where was the particle located? So we still have to solve for these values. So at t sub 0, at t equals 0, at t sub 1 equals 0, S sub 1 is equal to 0 cube minus 9 times 0 squared plus 15 times 0 plus 4. That would be 4 seconds. S sub 1. And at T sub 2, which is uh, 5 seconds, so S sub 2 is equal to 5 cube minus 9 times 5 squared plus 15 times 5 plus 4 and using our calculator we get negative 21 this is meters rather so this is meters so if if this point if this point here is the origin so at t sub 0, the particle is here. This is point 1. Okay? At t sub 1 equals 0, it's on the right side of the origin. So s sub 1 equals 4 meters. But then at t sub 2, 5 seconds, okay, this is now point 2 here. t sub 2, that's after 5 seconds, the position of the particle s sub 2 is now negative 21 meters. So the movement was towards the left. So V average is equal to S sub 2, that's negative 21 meters, minus S sub 1, 4 meters, divided by 5 seconds minus 0 second. So that's 21 in 4, that's 25, divided by 5, that's 5 meters per second, but that is negative. So what does it mean to have a negative average velocity or negative velocity? It does not mean that velocity itself is negative, but the negative sign here just indicates the direction that the particle moved towards the left. So that's why we have a negative sign here. Okay, to proceed, let's go to question number 3. So for number three, we are looking for the velocity, the velocity of the object at t equals four seconds. So meaning at the specific instant when time equals four seconds, what was the velocity of the particle? So meaning this velocity that we are talking about, this is instantaneous velocity. And we learned that the instantaneous velocity is the first derivative of s equals f of t. So if s is equal to t cubed, if s equals t cubed minus 9t squared plus 15t plus 4, then ds over dt is equal to 3t squared 
minus eighteen t plus fifteen. So at t equals four seconds, the velocity of the particle instantaneous is equal to three times four squared minus eighteen times four plus fifteen. So the velocity of the particle was negative 9 meters per second. So we can say still that it's negative. So from the, from the figure earlier, we learned about that. Um, at 5 seconds, it was at this point negative 21 meters. So it was moving uh, towards the left. So it's negative 9 meters per second. Direction is towards the left. Okay, question number four. What was the initial velocity? So the initial velocity. So this is still instantaneous velocity. When we say initial velocity, we are looking for V no, at T equals zero. So what was the velocity of the particle when T was zero? So V is equal to 3 times 0 squared minus 18 times 0 plus 15. Okay, and that is equal to 15 meters per second. So it was still directed towards the right at t equals 0. Okay, question number 5. Find the acceleration. We we're now looking for the velocity, rather. We're looking for the velocity of the object when acceleration is zero. So what is the velocity of the object when the acceleration is zero? So the question is, when will this acceleration be zero? Or in other words, um, at what time is the equation or is the acceleration zero? Okay. At what t? So we have to solve for a specific instant when t is equal to zero. So that would mean that we will be looking for the instantaneous acceleration. So if ds over dt is the instantaneous uh, velocity, this one, then the second derivative or the derivative of ds over dt is dv over dt. If ds over dt is equal to 3t squared minus 18t plus 15, then dv over dt is the derivative with respect to t of ds over dt. And this is already instantaneous acceleration. That is equal to 6t minus 18. So, at what time is this acceleration 0? So, 0 equals 6t minus 18. So, we are able to solve that t is equal to 3 seconds. The acceleration becomes 0 after 3 seconds. So at this time, what is the velocity? So now we are looking for the instantaneous velocity. The velocity of the object at the instant when t is equal to 3 seconds. So at t equals 3 seconds, v instantaneous is equal to 3 times 3 squared minus 18 times 3 plus 15. And solving using our calculator, at 3 seconds, after 3 seconds, the movement was still towards the left, velocity is negative 12 meters per second. Okay, to proceed, we will now solve question number 6. 
So, question number six, we are to find. We are to find the average acceleration in the interval three seconds to five seconds of its motion. Again, the average acceleration in the interval, 3 seconds to 5 seconds of its motion. So, average acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time. Or that would be V sub 2 minus V sub 1 over T sub 2 minus T sub 1 provided that T sub 1 equals 3 seconds and T sub 2 equals 5 seconds. So, but we don't know yet what the velocity is of the particle at 3 seconds. And we don't know the velocity of the particle yet at 5 seconds. What are the values of these quantities? But based on, um, based on what we have solved, we were able to solve that at t equals 3 seconds earlier, at t equals 3 seconds, we learned that the velocity was negative 12 meters per second. So we can just write that here. V equals negative 12 meters per second. Again, we were able to solve that earlier. At t equals 3 seconds, the velocity is negative 12 meters per second. And what will happen, or what is the velocity of the particle at t equals 5 seconds? Okay, so we still need to solve for that. So, at t equals 5 seconds, v instantaneous is equal to 3 times 5 squared minus 18 times 5 plus 15 and that is equal to that is equal to 0 meters per second so now we can solve for the average acceleration this is now equal to v sub 2 which is 0 minus v sub 1 which is negative 12 meters per second divided by the change in time okay that's 5 seconds minus 3 seconds so 5 minus 3 is 2 so 12 divided by 2 that is 6 so the average acceleration is 6 meters per second squared during the interval or from time equals 3 seconds to 5 seconds Okay, number seven, we are to find, we are to find the acceleration of the particle or the object, acceleration after five seconds. So meaning we are looking for the instantaneous acceleration. And earlier we have solved that instantaneous acceleration is given by the second derivative of a given function and that is equal to 60 minus 18 so at t equals 5 seconds a is equal to 6 times 5 minus 18 so this is 6 five times 5 that is 30 minus 18 so acceleration of the particle at 5 seconds is equal to 12 meters per second squared okay number eight we are looking for the acceleration of the body or the particle acceleration when the velocity 
is 0. Again, it's the acceleration. We're looking for the acceleration when the velocity is 0. So the, the same question that we asked earlier, when is this velocity 0 or at what time is this velocity 0? Okay, at what t? So we have to set the velocity of the particle or the instantaneous velocity of the particle to be 0. So velocity instantaneous is 3t squared minus 18t plus 15. So if that is equal to 0, we can factor out uh, 3 here. So that would be t squared minus um, 60 plus 5. So that this would be t minus 5 times t minus 1 equals 0. So we have two particular time when the velocity is 0. t sub 1 is e after 1 second and t sub 2 is after uh, 5 seconds. That is the time when the velocity is equal to 0. So at these times, what is or are the acceleration of the particle? So at t equals 1 second, acceleration is equal to 6 times 1 minus 18, given that the uh, formula for instantaneous acceleration is 60 minus 18. So acceleration at that time is negative 12 meters per second squared. And at t equals 5 seconds, so acceleration is 6 times 5, that is 30 minus 18. Acceleration is positive 12 meters per second squared. So that is an example for a problem involving